So Feng Shui 101. Feng Shui is comprised of two Chinese characters. Feng means wind and Shui means water. So wind and water. Why these two elements? Well, because wind and water are the two natural elements that flow, move and circulate around the earth. And the concept of Feng Shui originates from Taoist spiritual philosophy, which goes back 2000 years. There are five elements of feng shui. Jing, mu, shui, huo, tu. Jing means metal. Mu is wood. Shui is water. Huo is fire. And Tu is the earth. Now the optimal placement of these five elements is determined by the energy map of our space, which is called the Ba Gua. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what the heck does this mean? So I'm going to put it in layman's terms. The goal of feng shui is to invite positive qi into your life so that you feel both energized and well-balanced. It's basically creating positive vibes for your house. So the calculations really depend on the exact space and also your ba zi. Ba is eight zi is the character. So it's the eight characters that show the year, month, date, and time of your birth. So these things need to be matched together to give you precise calculations. However, there are some general guidelines, which is what I'm going to show you right now. Here we go. One important general principle in feng shui is to check your commanding position. Basically, this is the position of your most important pieces of furniture. So for example, your bed, this represents you, the position of your desk, this represents your career, and the position of your stove, which represents your wealth. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. It's really hard to move your stove, but it's pretty easy to move your bed or your desk. The main thing here is that you should be able to see your door when you're using these items. So when you're sitting in your bed, can you see your door? When you're sitting at your desk, can you see your door? You shouldn't be directly in line with your door, but you definitely should not have your back to it either. All this comes into play so you can receive optimal positive energy. The basic principles of feng shui recommend natural light and cross ventilation. That's why we do not want dark areas. We do not want areas that gets no natural air because that breeds negativity and yin energy, which also attracts ghosts and illness. Spooky, right? Another important feng shui principle is to keep things clean. This is not only good for your mental clarity, but also is good for your interior design. And right on point with Marie Kondo, which by the way, if you haven't seen my interview with Marie Kondo, go check it out. In feng shui, clutter takes up valuable space, which is what incoming energy needs. So clean your workspace every day. This is something that I make all of my staff do at the office. It'll create order and make you feel less stressed. What are some other easy cleans for a big impact? Well, your windows, they're considered the eyes to your home. Keeping things clean also means that you should declutter the entryway. In feng shui, your entryway shows the way energy enters into your home and life. So do whatever you can to make the space inviting and you always want to have a coat rack where you hang coats, an umbrella stand where umbrellas go, a shoe closet where shoes go. It's important that all these items have a place that they call home because they hold energy for you beyond your life and home. So for example, outside my door, I had doormat that said peace and next to it, I have an umbrella stand where all umbrellas go in. As soon as you come in right by the door, I have two shoe closets where you can hang clothes, guests can hang clothes and guests can put their shoes. Another big principle is make sure you remove obstacles of any pathways in your home. Think about when you are walking through your study, going to your bedroom. Are you always tripping over this table or this chair? Then take it out of the way. If you need to rearrange the whole layout, efficiency. Feng Shui is all about efficiency and you do not want any obstacles that are blocking your path. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting a new video each week who have tips and tricks that I think will help all of us lead a better life.